Now, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. And for this analysis, I want us to talk something slightly about what happened to the former president Donald Trump of the United States of America. Actually, I didn't want us to go minus talking about it slightly. Now, you see, I believe that you have watched um, that clip. You know, it's a raw footage. The Trump was, was shot. Take a look at what happened. Oh. So when I look at that video, I think it was very really unfortunate. Uh, first of all, due to the fact that whoever was trying to shoot Donald Trump was not doing it, you know, to miss. And you try to reason with it. There are theorists that have come out to say that perhaps the Republicans actually stage managed it. And even from where you sit and you watch that clip, do you think it was stage managed? Take a look at what happened. Oh. I don't think um, stage managing can actually go to that extent. Otherwise, Trump will be dead right now. You know, that, that bullet actually just missed his, his head by an inch. You know, getting the ear. It was not stage managing. That, that shooter was really aiming at killing Donald Trump. Now, the second thing, you know, this thing has given Donald Trump an easy win come November. Okay, the fifth. It's an easy win because you see how tides have changed right now. It is an easy win for him. Let's just give a benefit of doubt that it was state managed. Most of the times, you know, the objective of state managing a political activity or a scenario is always to either gain sympathy or to send a message. So in this case, if it was supposed to be gaining sympathy, it has really gained. If it was not state managed and the shooter was really, really intending to do what he was supposed to do, you know, on their own evolution or maybe the forces that drop them to that, still he has really gained sympathy. And when you look at the history of the United States, assassination attempts have always been, you know, really regarded as very serious. And anybody who tries to do that, you are an enemy of the US. And that is the reason why the shooter was really gunned down by the sniper. Okay, so even if it was not said managed, like what we are trying to postulate, then definitely Trump has really earned sympathy. And then the last thing, you see the times have really changed for good. And against Biden, it's going to be an easy ride for Donald Trump. Because this is the kind of a man fight that most of Americans will try to see and, and would want to see actually at the end of the day. In fact, if you look at how Trump actually stood up after being shot, you will be trying to question, is this a real human being? You know, he came on board and said, you know, viva, let's continue fighting, fight, fight, before he was rushed off the stage. Are we good? Shooter's down. Shooter's down. Are we good to move? Are we clear? We're clear. We're clear. We're clear. We're clear. Let me get my shoes. Let me get my shoes. Got you, sir. I got you, sir. Let me get my shoes, sir. Hold that in your head. Bloody. Sir, we gotta move to the car. Let me get my shoes. Such a serious um, a man and really looking forward to being the president. And you look at the conversation right now, you look at everything going down right now, Trump has really gained in standing. And when it comes to November, I think it's going to be a walkover. As a matter of fact, you are looking at the Democrats. You know, Joe Biden has refused to step down. 
have a much age is telling him, you know, there are things you can do in the time frames, but you can't actually try to rectify time. So the Mze is really, really at crossroads right now. The other time I was hearing the Democrats after the debate that Trump actually trumped him, okay, you know, the, the Democrats were thinking that we, we need to have somebody in, in, instead of um, um, Joe Biden. And they sent a delegation to go and talk with him and he told them, go back to where you have come from. I am not stepping down. I am going to beat Trump. I am going to be victorious in this. But I think out of everything that is really happening, perhaps if Trump is going to win, one of the factors to his win is this assassination attempt. What can you say, ladies and gentlemen? Let me hear from you based on the international standing uh, that we have, because we have our Kenyans living in the U.S. and they are really so much concerned. They, they, they are following everything that is happening there. And so we must actually try to look into how they are in the U.S. What do you think? Those who are from the U.S., maybe we need to listen of, uh, uh, to you based on what is happening on the ground. How is the ground uh, shaping up? Let's connect. Have a great time. Take a look at what happened over Watch out. 